It was a community effort to make sure that children staying at a women's shelter in Columbia County had a Merry Christmas morning. Newswatch 16's Elizabeth Worthington shows us how. Samantha Scoblink says running a small scale version of Santa's workshop out of the Berwick Women's Shelter on 11th Street becomes all worth it when she hears stories like this one. There was a guy who actually came and uh, did uh, construction for us and he said that he remembers when he was a child having a Christmas at the shelter and that it was the best Christmas he ever had. The shelter director's office was filled with toys when Newswatch 16 stopped by before all the gifts were wrapped and placed under the tree. We got a sneak peek at what the children staying here would wake up to on Christmas morning. Oh my gosh, a bazillion squishmallows, <laughs> uh, Barbie dolls, uh, race car toys. I'm like, they went above and beyond. So where did all these toys come from? Turns out Santa has some helpers at the Makanakwa Women's Auxiliary and Five Mountain Outfitters in Shikshini. They saw a need and turned to their communities to fill it. A lot of the women that stay with us have been through uh, domestic violence situations and they have uh, not really had a, a good life. They're kind of in like dark situations and just people like reaching out and helping us really brings a light to their situation, especially this holiday season. Yeah. Many of these women would have accepted just having a safe holiday with their children. Instead, they got so much more. One of our residents came up and we showed her the toys from the toy drive and she started crying because she was so thankful that this will be like one of the most specialist Christmases for her granddaughter. Elizabeth Worthington, Newswatch 16, Columbia County.